Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here, and today we're going to be working in the third grade science book, Motion and Matter, Investigation 2, Patterns of Motion. Part 2, Predicting Motions of New Systems. Question, what rules help predict where a rolling cup will end up? For today's investigation, you're going to need a ramp, which I'm making out of cardboard and four clothespins, some small cups, some weights, I'm using washers, you could use pennies, and some tape. So let's start with assembling our ramp. First take two of the clothespins and attach it to the cardboard. And then take the other clothespins and attach it to those clothespins. like so. And there you have your ramp. Next, we're going to take our cup and try to predict the motion of a new system. What do you predict the motion of this cup will be if I were to let it roll down this ramp? Why does the cup roll in a curve instead of straight? Let's look at our cup. There's a big circle on one end and a smaller one on the other. Now, what determines which direction the cup will roll? The cup will roll in the direction of the smaller circle. So predict which direction this will roll. If we're looking at the direction of the smaller circle, which is on this end, it should roll to me. So how does a cup compare to the wheel and axle system? If you think about the wheel and axle, that also has a big circle or the wheel on one end and a small circle on the other, which was the axle. And in the wheel and axle system. Next, we're going to do a park under the ramp challenge. Pretend that your cup is a car and you wanna park it in the parking garage under your ramp. Try to make your cup roll off the ramp and end up parked under the ramp. like so. Can you do that? Find a cup and a ramp at your house and try it at home. There you go. Were you able to get your cup to park under the ramp? Our next challenge, we're going to try to make our cup roll in a straight line. How do you think we can do that? Well, if you remember from our wheel and axle investigation, the way that we got the wheel and axle to roll in a straight line was to put two circles of the same size on each side of the axle. So for our cups, we're going to try to make the two wheels on the ends of our cups the same size. And there we go. Do you think this will roll in a straight line? Let's find out. Next, let's add some weight to our cups and see what happens then. I have
have some small little weights that I'm going to add. Let's take two and add them in different locations. We'll add one on the inside of our cup and see what happens. Let's add one. And you don't have to use just pennies. You could use nickels, dimes, quarters, and see what happens. Let's put one, I'm gonna put a bigger washer on the outside, the opposite end of the other one. But let's see what happens. It rolls kind of funny. Let's think about our focus question. What rules will help predict where a rolling cup will end up? A cup is made up of two circles. Placed on its side on a sloped surface will roll like our wheel and axle system with two different sized wheels. Because the larger wheel travels farther, the two wheel system will roll in a predictably curved path. That is a pattern of motion. So what did we learn today? We learned that we can observe the pattern of an object's motion in various situations, and when past motion exhibits a regular pattern, future motion can be predicted from it. I hope you enjoyed today's investigation. Until next time, have a great day.